All right, everyone. Well, welcome to 2023. We have an incredible amount of good information to share with you to uh, really kick off 2023. We're going to be doing our vision board contest. This is Marty and Cheryl Turner, Master Coordinators with Shackley, and we are so excited that you're here and that you're ready to grow and make 2023 your best year ever. Um, we, I've been saying 2023 will set you free. Um, so welcome everyone. And those that are watching this in uh, review, know that this exercise is something that you should be involved in as well. And then get back with us or the person who invited you to take a look at it so you can find out more. And uh, now is the time uh, more than ever before to really take your business to the next level. So with that, uh, sweetie, I'm going to go ahead and let you share uh, a little bit more about this incredible slide about uh, jumping the gap. Take the leap, guys. I had a little chat with our oldest grandson this weekend, and he's profoundly autistic, and he was upset about some people not understanding him. And I took him into the other room. We very quietly talked. I said, honey, you can't let people manipulate you, and it'll only hurt you if you react emotionally. So take a deep breath. And I did this little quote for him. I said, true power is restraint. Pull back and observe. I said, just pull back and watch. And if words control you, then everyone can control you. So breathe. We taught him to breathe deep. I don't know if he'll keep doing it, but he did it then and think. And again, for an autistic boy who is 14 years old, almost 15, you know, that's hard. That's that's a big request. But we've we've been doing this since he was born and he is so far ahead of where the doctors ever thought he would be. So it was time to take that and I gave him a little book too about it. Awesome. So it's time for breakthrough for him too. Absolutely. And so guys, if you're ready to take the leap, we encourage you guys to come back each and every Monday at nine o'clock Eastern, uh, eight central, make the conversion for your area. You can go to zoom.paidtobegreen.com. That's mm -hmm. paid with a T-O, begreen.com. And uh, if you can't jump in online, you can definitely just uh, tap in through your mobile phone number mm -hmm. right here on the screen. Mm -hmm. So share that with people. We'd love to see this grow as we grow in 2023 and as we're all growing in our business. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about breakthrough, sweetie, and if, why don't you take the left side and I'll take the right. All right. You know, whether it's our weight, Marty and I always do a little bit of reset. We were talking about it the other day, how we're down 15 pounds from two years ago. So we're not breaking any records, but we're consistently releasing and keeping off weight. Uh, finances that we want the opposite. We want more finances. They have them come to us, money come to us. We want our stress levels to be managed. We want to reduce toxins. We did that long, long time ago when we became part of the Shackley family. We want more energy. We want to build strength and it's never been more important to build our immune systems. Absolutely. You know, and one of the things that will help you through this breakthrough as you're building in 2023 is of course our visionary leader, Roger Barnett, who's invested millions and millions in years helping to grow this company. And then of course, our Shackley home team that mm -hmm. is incredibly supportive. When you call in to rep support, they're there to help you every step of the way. Um, also wanna let you know that building an online presence will be another way for you to be able to grow and explode and break through, including building that community, whether that be online or through some meetups that you could do on a weekly basis. Uh, and using these high tech, high tech, uh, tech approach um, is really, I think, going to be more, more important than ever before. Because as much as we can do a lot of stuff online with Zooms, I think the high touch is also just yep. as important. And of course, you have the Shackley Science, uh, which is all about helping you to not only get healthier, but also wealthier. You know, Shackley Science equals money in the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, the integrity of the years and years of product development and building a business knowing that what you build today will continue to benefit you for many, many years to come and future generations. Now, there is no guarantee of that, but we've seen that year over year, uh, decade after decade, where people who have worked hard and built a business can enjoy the residual income. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, results may vary, but I can tell you this, if you put in the work, the results will leave clues and that clue yeah. will be hopefully uh, a comma or even more in your bank account. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we talk about the comma club. That's right. All right, good. Well, so with that, let's now uh, check out some of the awesome vision boards. 
And we're going to start off with um, our lovely daughter, Amy, who's not here. Uh, but uh, Cheryl, I'm going to let you take the uh, honors and then maybe I'll add a few things. And then the next one we'll have, uh, I believe, is Larry. Larry. All right. So you're on deck, Larry. Go for it. That's right. And our my kids grew up with vision boards. I had them when they were small children, whether it was the type of house we wanted to build, we were in construction, and or the kind of car we wanted to drive. So they learned this at a very early age. This is my oldest daughter, and she's our business leader. She's also in partnership with Marty in real estate. That's she and her daughter and son-in-law up in that upper left corner. And then I put in a picture of her daughter as a baby <laughs> because she wants grandbabies. Yay. And so she's visualizing those. And she thought that was funny that I added that. And she has this picture on her Facebook page. Talent is good, practice is better, passion is best because you really have to want it and feel it. And over on the right, she works with the Boys and Girls Club and she's done a lot of wonderful things for them, helping them. Uh, she has a dream car that she wants to get down there. She's with Roger Barnett. She wants more um, promotion with Shackley. She wants to travel the world and enjoy different cuisines. The picture with the uh, firefighters and the police in the middle is a long story we're not going to go into, but she works with first responders in right. real estate. Yeah. She has a special program where they can buy a house easier with better interest rates. She wants money to roll in. Uh, the picture on the right was one of her biggest checks as a director and then she couldn't do it without Shackley and she loves the planet and she knew she had to get a goal set so she thought 4,000 was a nice round number and she just took a blank check and wrote it that amount in so she can someday make four thousand dollars a month from Shackley there you go I love it and you know one of the people that has inspired her is Frank Lloyd Wright as far as his architecture and vision but speaking of vision and a view, this is from Panama City Beach mm -hmm. uh, in the upper uh, middle. And also the fact that she's looking to not only just get a car, but her dream car, uh, which is a Chrysler 200 convertible. <laughs> so all these things need to be very specific and personalized. And uh, so with that, we're going to go ahead and move along. And I'm going to have... Uh, Larry, uh, unmute. Larry is going to unmute and here. Judy. And uh, Judy, and we'll go ahead and have you guys uh, share. So with that, let me just find you here, ask you to unmute. Here you go. There you go. And then we'll bring up your slide. Please share and welcome. We'd love to hear more about your vision. Awesome. All right. Appreciate it very much. Uh, of course, uh, we're glad Two everybody minutes. could be on here. Two minutes, Judy says. I Two minutes, and Art is on, on deck. So glad, Art, you're up next. Glad we could be here with you all. So uh, this is our, our vision board for 2023. Uh, we don't call it a dream board because we ain't dreaming. We're, we're right. looking forward. So, so uh, of course, our, our main focus is, of course, getting on and staying on the road to life, right? It's the cramp road. So that's the center picture. Um, but we have some personal things we'd like to do. Um, of course, I was uh, always wanting to do violin, so I have my violin. I want to get lessons. My wife gave me lessons once, and that was really enjoyable. And so Judy will tell you two seconds about hers. <laughs> um, my husband never knew that I played the piano. It was just one of those childhood things that we never talked about. Um, and we bought a piano once, and we had to sell it when we moved to a smaller place. And so um, one day we went and we bought this uh, secondhand um, piano bench, and so that's me in the middle of parking a lot. parking lot right. practicing. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I love it. So we're gonna get the piano back again. Of course, we do our volunteer work, uh, and so we're really excited. We're gonna do some local um, construction work, but we're looking forward to being able to do that little picture there of the of the complexes is Ramapo. It's New a uh, New York. It's a uh, studio where they make videos. They're just getting that built. And so hopefully we get invited this year to that. Um, and then of course our community work down below and of course a lot of quality time together. That's why we have the little dancing uh, picture there. So, um, so the hardest work of course is to work on yourself. And so we realize that. So, so we're chipping away with that. And so we're using Shackley, um, our routine with Shackley, basically with the, with the neology, they have made it so easy for us. So we wanna make our routine easy by using neology. Um, and we know that in order to get our goals that we have on the left-hand side, um, reaching a senior coordinator on the right-hand side is going to help us. We have two of our four directors on, on the, or, sorry, we now have three 
of our four directors on the call tonight. So that's so awesome. So uh, getting out of the rat race and staying out of that is important. And of course, uh, we do need our new vehicle because ours is dying. Judy drove it. <laughs> Judy drove it today, and uh, the steering pump might be going out on it. So, and, I, and our new vehicle is a Tesla. That's what we've always wanted because it's better for the environment than all the pollution. So, we we still have that as a goal that we will eventually get our Tesla. And of course, it's Shackley Green. So yes, that's yeah. has to be a green Tesla to go with Shackley. I love it. Good. That is very, very cool. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing. And uh, remember, everyone who's taking notes, that they are then number one choice number one um, on our dream board. So let's, or uh, vision board. So now let's go on to um, Art. Are you ready? Hi. I am. Okay, good. Well, let me just, uh, oh, good. You've already unmuted. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. And Art, this is the first half. There is another half. Yep. Yeah, so we'll do part half. one and part two. Of course, I right, want to say, you go. There's... I want to say thanks to Larry for getting the, the link to me. He's, he's a great part of, uh, of the team um, that uh, is uh, a part of, you know, your downline. And I'm excited to be teamed up with him he's uh, he's a great uh, motivator great leader in his own right That's uh, well if you if you notice I'm, my my mother was a, a health and physical education instructor so I was always kind of gearing toward outdoor activities if you look at the left side uh, most of what you see on the board are basically things that I that I enjoy doing wow. uh, I when I was a, did an internship back in well, it was probably around 1978, uh, I was at the YWCA and they said uh, scuba diving lessons for a hundred dollars. I'm thinking a hundred. Now I say, yeah, you can't find that nowadays. So I uh, I took took uh, I was certified in scuba diving and you know that that was sort of a passion that led from some of the earlier times of watching. Sea Hunt, et cetera. Yep. yep. And my brother and I recently did a refresher course to get ourselves prepared to, to really get back to, out on a regular basis. So on the left side, you see uh, up, upper left, mostly um, a lot of scuba gear. Nice. Uh, and so that's a passion that I have right in the middle, right in the back in the middle, the very top was one of my, the dives that I did going back some of those early days. And so I'm trying to re re get get a little resurgence in some activities associated with diving. I think my brother is, is also certified, so we're trying to team up and get and dive on a regular basis. And, and diving it takes resources, and so right. you know part of the act, act, our activities are, are geared toward making sure we have the resources to do, do those kinds of things. Bottom left is a sailboat. There, when I was in. When we lived in, uh, we were in the Boston area when I learned to dive, and then we ultimately moved over to the San Francisco, Oakland mm. area, California. And it was during one summer, my wife, uh, Sarah, uh, encouraged me to. There was a there was something that showed uh, sailing lessons, and so I said, um, she says you like to do those kinds of things, and I said, yep. <laughs> do so <laughs> i uh, signed up for sailing lessons took a basic sailing course and my objective it was a basic sailing course and, and i took an intermediate sailing course but i want to move up to larger vessels and that nice. also money nice. uh, as well so that's that's basically that page on the bottom right uh i don't ski but one of my objectives is to uh be able to hit the slopes i have a All right <laughs> nephew right. wife who here we go and, We've got about a minute uh, left here. Gotcha. Uh, I, like I said, outdoor wise, I you know, biking on the top left. I, I do did a lot of mountain biking, particularly when I was in California and even in Florida. Uh, not mountain biking in Florida, but uh, did a lot of biking. So just staying healthy is a part of that. Uh, I do have a, a desire to actually get a pilot's license. And so you see a jet there in the bottom left and probably another one on the far right. Yeah. And are to learn how to fly of course they don't give those lessons away for free <laughs> that's a part of it um also just like out boating in general far right you better it's a it's a yacht and of course that's 
I'm family oriented, so I don't see myself just sitting in a rot in a in a rot <laughs> in a in a yacht rotting. <laughs> That's but great. I mean, fellowship with family, and so in the middle, of course, you see skiing again. My desire would be to be able to to ski. So the resources, just looking at things that I'd like to accomplish. I don't call them bucket. I'm not worried. I'm not trying to put anything in a bucket. Okay. I'm excited about just living life and thank, you know, thank. I love it, Art. Great job. And that's the way we get to those things is by looking at them. So uh, and I'll send you these slides when we're done so you can just have a full slide to look at it okay. for each of you who have submitted. Beautiful. Thank, thank you, Art. Okay. Uh, Daphne, you're next. All right. Let's get Daphne Paul. There she is. She's ready to go. <laughs> All right, let me pin yes. her and move her on to the next one. All right, okay. Daphne, you're this up. This is half of yours, Daphne. We have another one, too. Uh, okay. Well, I put both of the dreams. I did my dream board about maybe uh, four years ago when I started the Shackley business. And um, it was a couple months after, um, you know, um, I started the business that I made the dream board. Um, and the reason why I made this dream board and I put dream beside it because I dream about these things. I dream, I've been to the Bahamas. So on the left side of it is, I guess, I guess it's the tropical sunset, the Bahamas. Um, I would like to go back to visit. Um, I really enjoyed it the first time I went. And it's just part of my uh, dream of traveling you know, I've been around the world so far. I've, I've been several places, but I'd like to travel more and abroad, you know, broaden it out. And I like the, the tropical set. So um, that. that's part of my dream. Okay, let's go to the next one. And then the next one on top is where I manifested. Um, I've been, yeah, I, w I went to Miami Beach. I've been to uh, this past week. I, I actually manifested and went to Orlando, Florida, where I um, had a chance to view, uh, you know, Florida and everything. But this, the right, I'm going, okay, I'm going to go back because I, this, the skit has changed. But on the left-hand side, there's um, a dream. I have a dream car. Um, that's part of my dream car is to have a car and to have a home again. Uh, to maybe have a pup I'm moving over to the to the right side where I, you know, um, I would like to have a pup. And then on the right side, it has pay to be green where I, it's part of pay to, to be green. Mm -hmm. Part of my vision is to further um, learn about the business. Um, actually, do some traveling to share more of Shackley. And uh, these are just some pictures up in top at the bottom left and right where I, were I was able to relax a little bit, um, <laughs> uh, get away because I've been working so much the last five years until these, these dreams, I'm trying to make them a reality. Right. So I did this vision board where I put it down, I manifested some of them, and then the rest of them I'm working towards. Wonderful. Great job. Thank you for sharing. Kevin, you are next. All right. Okay. <laughs> there he is. All right. Let me find Kevin. And I'll pin you and I will show your slides. Go ahead, Kevin. Thanks for sharing. All right. Well, first, first of time. all, I apologize for this size because I was making it for my planner i don't know if you can see that oh, right in front of my face um and it's that format and i i realized after that you said you wanted it landscape so i apologize no kevin <laughs> that's great because it opened up full in the phone so for you to be able to look at that full in your phone is pretty smart yeah so um so real quick up upper left hand corner um that's a very old shackley like banner mm -hmm. um and i want to be able to replace that hopefully with whatever banner we learn from this week's call um i have it all set ready to go to easily pop that into place <laughs> um, but obviously shackley is a big part of my life and my goal um as many of you know my family lives in hawaii and that's my family right there mm -hmm. um and i i put them really really big because i want to be able to spend way 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 more time with them um and sort of the upper half of my board 
is about my biggest passion of travel. Um, so similar to what you guys have been saying about wanting to travel the world. Yeah. Um, I love that. And these are the places I realized I, I couldn't put every place I want to go in my life. So I concentrated on these few here. And so I'll just quickly go through. At the top is Japan, my favorite place to go. Mm -hmm. um, New York City, I want to be able to go and spend a bunch of time there. Um, Reykjavik, Iceland um, is on the left. On the right, I want to go on a Disney cruise, specifically on the new Wish boat. Mm. And in the middle, um, Australia, because I've never been and I've always wanted to go. Yep. And then, of course, Aulani, which is where my family is. And I put a Hawaiian Airlines plane because I need that to get over there. <laughs> That's great. I love it. <laughs> yeah. And there was a picture of Walt Disney World, that castle with my name tag. That's because nice. as many of you know, I'm moving to Orlando sometime this year. So that's part of my goal. At the upper part of this page is my new friends and old friends, all of a lot of you on this call yep. that I got to meet in Kansas City. And I want to be able to expand our friendships and relationships even way more in the coming year in Anaheim and beyond. Um, I put a graphic of three ambassadors, 10 customers, because I would love to use that as a goal month to month. Um, Roger's there. That picture of Avatar is uh, working movie premieres, which is one of my passions. Nice. And on the bottom are sort of those out of the box, like mm -hmm. visions that I would love. Um, for a place to live someday i would love to live in golden oak which if you are aware um that's a very very high-end community at walt disney world um and that's a goal that car is uh, a green car um and then you know i love photography so i need better equipment for that um <laughs> uh, love to be able to donate more towards charity and chackley cares etc oh, yeah. and the bottom right is self-explanatory. That's great. I love that. So that's good job, that, Kevin. That's awesome. Thank you. And Rhoda, you are next. All right. Let's get her queued up here. All right. And Rhoda. Okay. If you are ready, I'm going to pin you to the top. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Remove Kevin. No, I was just going remove his pin not him from the meeting. oh yes <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Okay. i'll use kevin's board that's okay yeah <laughs> all right rhoda you're up hmm. all right well my vision board is totally focused on this year and my goals for this year so here i am this little flower coming through that concrete area i'm going to bloom <laughs> and what I've learned this year from Donnell is that courage is the mastery of fear. And that's my, that was my main issue. So I'm going to master that. All right. Using Dr. Shackley's quote, follow the laws of nature. So this year, I want to become a senior director. That means I'll get a car. Woohoo! And it's going to be a convertible. You can't see yeah, that. Yeah, baby. <laughs> but I also want to travel. I love, like all of you, love to travel. So here's Austria. That's where I was born. So I'd love to go back and visit wow. it. And there's a lovely cruise ship. I love going to places that it's warm. And my dream has always been to go to Alaska. Nice. And then at the bottom right is that cute little girl. She's going to be my housekeeper. <laughs> so that's my vision board. I love it. Great job. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, that is great. All right. Beautiful. All right. Well, let's do this. Uh, so let's remind everyone in a quick review so that you can write down when we open up the poll here. And when we do the poll, I'll remind At the them. end of the call. Yeah. At the end of the call, I'll remind Oh, them. I just want them to write down theirs now. Okay, so if you that want. they can take note of it. You don't have to vote now, but... Um, so Rhoda is number five uh, when she shared her vision. Uh, number four is Kevin uh, and his uh, wonderful vision boards. It was two part. Then we have number three was Daphne. Um, and she had two parts as well. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then number two is uh, Art. 
Um, and he has a number of things, as you shared here. Very active. Absolutely. And then number one is Larry and Judy. Yeah. Okay. So if you'll make note of those, uh, one. We'll go over it again when we do the poll after the call. Oh, okay. Um, and then you can do your final voting on, on those. All right. We're going to try to scoot right along on ours. All right. So let's go ahead then. And uh, I'm going to have Cheryl come back up and uh, share a little bit more about the vision board process for those that are, again, watching this in review. And like I said, we've always had vision boards. And this is an old vision board that we had done before. We actually have achieved every goal on there that we had set, whether it was getting to the lake or getting a beautiful wedding ring because we sold the stone in the middle of my wedding ring when I had cancer. Marty has had two motorcycles. We get to spend lots of times with the kids. And one of the, our goals on this was that our daughter could travel because she wanted to travel. And she's been all over the place. She leaves for Costa Rica Friday with her husband and sons. So the good part about a vision board is that you can visualize. If you look at it two or three times a day and before you go to bed, it will be ingrained into your subconscious. It confirms and reinforces your affirmations. And it's good to have affirmations with it, like the top uh, corner here, money come to me. Just put your money rolling in and make it emotional. That will help you achieve it faster mm -hmm. and confidential. Share your affirmations only with people who support you and want you to achieve them. You'd be really surprised at the people who want you to stay right where you are. So personal affirmations do not need to be shared. There you go. All right. Well, good stuff. So this was kind of some of the many things that have been achieved yep. in the past. And then um, well, let's talk a little bit now about some of the things in the future. This is the board we're working on. Now, you can see here that we have the money continuing to roll in uh, in <laughs> abundance. I loved our powerful uh, protective angel over our family. Um, mm -hmm. And which, our businesses. Which is very homes. important. And I'll let Cheryl kind of share some more. And I f finally found a hot tub I like. That's a nice recliner hot tub. And these pictures of the families were us with our son and his family. And then my daughter is in the middle there between the two kids in the front row. And then it's in the next picture is our two daughters and their families. That same daughter is over on the right too. And my mm. two girls are right in the middle in red uh, on that picture on the stairs. And then the grandkids are around them and our granddaughter and her husband are up on the stairs. The guy next to me is my youngest daughter's husband. And then I want a rubber ducky paddle boat. And yeah, you can't quite see it in this, but there's a little awning over the top of it. Yep. And you kind of pedal it with your your feet so you get some good exercise as you're cruising around on the lake. That's right. And we want a, a summer. We want to winter in Florida. And this is the view from the condo. Uh, that we stay at we get a four, three or four bedroom condo every year and then i actually found a hybrid corvette so we can be green but still have fun <laughs> there you go and that you kind of the yellow theme going here with yeah. the yellow, yellow rubber ducky between my rubber ducky and my yellow corvette hanging out just casually <laughs> strolling on the water and then all of a sudden breaking the speed of sound here with your, with your yellow and of course the other thing of, is our house on the lake. Yes. So not so only important. do we want to have the condo on the beach in Florida half the year, but also a place for everyone to come and enjoy our home on the lake. Yep. And so those are some things, including all the wonderful things we're doing with missions work uh, that is continuing to inspire us to be able to continue to grow. So now let's talk a little bit about this, this check thing that we do, um, because this is always going to be a work in progress. So one of the things that we've done is explain to people to write out a goal check. And this is something you'll be able to print out when yep. you get the slides. You can freeze this. You can grab this uh, check and you can make it out. Like for us, we gave a $6,000 check to an inner city church to buy an 8 foot by 12 foot illuminated sign outside. So it would light up and we didn't know how dark it was going to get. And that sign is still working today. So you can do it for that, for your church or charity. You can do it for the income you want. One thing we did was we picked a number and I figured ours was kind of emergency because when I had cancer we spent a lot of money so I picked like 9,911 and that was my emergency number and you know what we overshot it here's our, our latest check 10,130 so oops just pick a number and work hard and focused and plug in and utilize the system so you don't have to do all the work right now and, with that I'm going to just say a little bit of a quick um 
uh, disclaimer that this is not guaranteed. Mm, you, yeah. uh, as a master coordinator, we've worked many, many years and worked very hard helping and supporting others, both yep. customers and ambassadors. And through our hard work, we were able to achieve this. It's not guaranteed that you'll make it, but the possibility is what you should focus on. Right. And then look at all the different income opportunities at all different uh, promotion and leadership levels within Shackley. And between Marty and I, we have over 70 years experience in this business. So um, yeah, it, this didn't happen overnight for us, but this is a time to reset. And for me, reset means release the past. I had to get over some things. I had to eliminate negativity. I had to seize possibilities. We wanted to escape debt, and we are very thankful for lessons learned. So that was part of our reset. So I want all of you to press your reset button. All right. I love it. And that is very meaningful. So one of the things that you can do to get prepared uh, is to most importantly focus on the IPAs or income producing activities. Mm -hmm. Right now, I would encourage you to start inviting as many people to this event as possible. January 7th, uh, 10 o'clock Pacific. Uh, one o'clock Eastern, make the conversion for your area. And this is something that we do each and every year. Uh, there's also a live opportunity for those that are in the Anaheim area in Orange mm -hmm. County at 9 a.m. There's a meeting that you can go to live with your guests. And then also same day in Fort Myers uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern. So we're doing our 2023 uh, year of growth kickoff. Uh, this will be something that is a live broadcast that you can come and bring some people together, have a little bit of food and fun, uh, start the year strong, reset your business, as Cheryl talked about, focus uh, with everything that you're doing with your vision board so that you can put that into action. And of course, the whole idea is purpose and the incentives that we're going to be hearing about are going to be able to help drive momentum as well. That's right. So with that, Cheryl, talk a little bit more about... Um, the past and the future. Like I said, I had to let go of my past. And I I just years ago, I burned into my brain. Don't let your history keep you from your destiny. And I told myself that yeah. every day. You cannot have a better tomorrow if you think about yesterday all the time. And that was something I really had to get a handle on. And Dr. Shackley said, thoughts are things. They circulate in the universe and take possession of you. It's what you do with them that counts. That's right. We feel very blessed and highly favored to be in this business. And I love what uh, Basil King says, be bold and great and mighty forces will come to your aid. That's one of my favorites yep. uh, because the boldness is the part that will definitely build momentum for you. So with that, we thank you guys. Get back with the person who thought enough to invite you here and find out a little bit more about developing and creating your vision board. And here's to your success in 2023. May 2023 set you free. I like that. Now we're going to stop the recording and we're going to give away some cash. All right, guys. Hope to see you again on another Monday uh, here with Marty and Cheryl. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.